What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron Williamson. I'm here with Matt Carsetter, Dr. Chris Main with Prime Recovery and Health. So, as everyone knows with what we do here at the, uh, the Elliot Group, I run the fitness division, and it's very important that we get into some detailed topics to, to talk about today, and that is testosterone replacement therapy, optimizing your hormones. If you're starting a program, what's the best place to start? If you need blood work, where do you go? That's why I have these guys here today to talk about all this. So I'm going to let Matt and Chris introduce themselves, tell you a little bit about what they do, and then I want to dive into some questions to get some great uh, information and feedback for you to tell you where to go and how to work with these guys. And with what we're doing uh, in the fitness division right now, we've got some big goals this year, and a lot of it's going to revolve around being able to optimize your health because right now in society, we're being poisoned, our bodies are toxic, our minds are toxic, we don't know where to start because everything you read on the internet is so conflicting and confusing. So we want to clear up a lot of this today. So Matt, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thanks Aaron. So like you said, my name is Matt Karstetter. I own Prime Recovery and Wellness. Um, what we're really focusing on right now is uh, hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, peptides. But my passion is definitely the testosterone replacement therapy for men and women, but especially for the guys. Um, we're really focused on human optimization. So we want to get you the top of the normal, right? Not super physiological. We're not trying to be Mr. Olympia, but the top of normal. And so you can perform better, higher energy, yeah. better relationship with your significant other, uh, better recovery in the gym, uh, things like that. Because right now, testosterone levels in men is at like a record low. And I think that's by design. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's that's what we're doing right now. We're launching a telemedicine so basically what that is, is we do virtual consults, work with the doctors, work with our nurse practitioners. So you can have consults from, you know, the comfort of your own home, right? So telemedicine we're launching right now, I believe we're in 38 states and we, we're trying to get into 50, hopefully by the end of the year, maybe next year. It takes a little while. Some states are harder than others, but yeah, but yeah but Chris, go ahead. Aaron, I want to thank you and the, the LA group for uh, having us out today. Um, I was really looking forward to sit down and talking about some things that are very passionate to me. Um, my background, um, I've been an orthopedic surgeon for 23 years, been involved in regenerative medicine and hormone therapy for close to 15. Um, I got into it because uh, I got older and was no longer the elite athlete that I thought I was in high school and college. So you, you had to find something at that point uh, that gives you the edge and for me, Personally, um, I love getting into this type of therapy, but I also found that it was good for my patients in orthopedics and also for a lot of family and friends as well. So for me, I'm very passionate in taking you know what we have in society today and, and making them healthier. Um, there's lots of things that can be done both on the male and female side to optimize their health, get them back in the gym, get them motivated, you know, help out their relationships, and just overall make them a, a better person. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and, and the goal is we're not trying to get people on stage to compete, right? We're, right. we're, we're trying to get people ready for life. And I say get people ready for life, um, I talk about creating an army of soldiers for health because we need it now more than ever. And I think there's a, a big misconception about what TRT is, how it works. And when I start a fitness program with somebody, anybody, a man, a woman, doesn't matter, one of the very first things that I like to do is to get their blood work done because mm -hmm. the worst thing you can do is to work with somebody and two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks in, they've been busting their ass, they're so committed, they're dialed in, but their results are minimal at best and they can't figure out what's going on. But if we would have done blood work from the beginning and we could have identified something in their hormones that could have been fixed or maybe some deficiency somewhere, vitamin D, so to speak, then their results would be much better than they are now. So can you uh, explain just uh, if, let's just say, someone is starting a program and they want to get blood work, what is, the, what is the best way to get started with you guys in terms of like moving forward? If we send someone your, your information, they go to you, and then what, what is the next step? Sure. So somebody will reach out to them. Um, 
get their information. They will basically go over a few questions, but mainly get them set up for blood work, right? Because that's the telltale. Um, so they'll go in. If they're local, they can come into our clinic in Kansas City. Um, but in this regard, we're talking about telemedicine. So we'll send rec papers for them to LabCorp request, and they're pretty much nationwide. So you go to your local LabCorp request, do the blood work two to three days later, comes back to our clinic, either the doctor or our nurse practitioners analyze it, and they kind of come up with a determination of where you're deficient, where you can optimize. Then the next step is a Zoom call consult with the nurse practitioner, or if you're lucky enough, you can get Dr. Maynard himself. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. The blood work really is very important, and you know, I think that's one thing that sets aside you know, us and the, from a lot of clinics that are out there is you don't want to start a patient on any type of therapy without knowing what your baseline is. Mm -hmm. And you'll see all types of advertisements on social media now for, you know, contact this place just to suddenly jump on a medication, you know, whether it's semaglutide or testosterone. That's, that's not safe. You, you need to know what your baseline levels are. In addition, just to knowing what your testosterone levels and some other hormone levels, we look at a lot of other things, too, because there's other things that can be problematic that you may have to adjust the treatment. Or sometimes you'll find some patients that actually need even a further workup before you even start them on therapy. So, you know, our job is to take them through this protocol in a safe and efficient manner, but yet still get them on to therapy once they qualify and, and optimize their health. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's more than just testing for testosterone, right? Oh, yeah. It's all, we, we do bioidentical hormones, so that's testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, stuff like that, cause for the men and women. But So we test for testosterone and estrogen, but Chris, tell them about the other biomarkers that we look into. So we're looking at thyroid function. Um, in males, we're looking at uh, prostate function as well. Um, sometimes we can test for iron levels. We're looking at you know chemical levels as far as uh, um, blood counts, uh, electrolytes, uh, because there's other things that can throw off your whole um, hormonal system that your testosterone may be in a low to normal range, but yet you don't feel good, and it's usually something else. That then you have to optimize that or adjust how you're actually treating them with any of the hormonal therapy. Yeah. So <clears throat> what, what, I, what I find a lot of is... Uh, people will get their blood work back and some of them are on the fence about maybe looking into some type of therapy. Maybe their testosterone is just borderline low. Maybe let's just say 300, 400-ish. Um, is there anything that you do or recommend? Like if, if someone wasn't quite sold on therapy yet, I know, let's just say, yeah, you can lose body fat, get better sleep, uh, take all the, the trash out of your nutrition, like really dial your nutrition in, there are some ways that you can boost your testosterone back um, in, a, in a natural way without getting on TRT. But in most cases, can you explain like what, what you'd recommend when you, when you see numbers come back on the, on the borderline range and you have someone who's on the fence, like what kind of conversation do you have with them? So sure, I mean, for me, it's with any patient I see, whether it's an orthopedics or a hormone, hormone patient. I don't treat a number, I treat a patient. So I'm gonna look at their numbers and help that guide their treatment protocol. But if I've got someone that's on that borderline level, I wanna know what their symptoms are. You know, how, how's their thought process? How are they doing at work? How are they doing with their spouse? Um, are they seeing some of the goals that they wanna achieve in the gym or not? So before even going on to testosterone therapy, especially in some of our younger patients, we do have a couple other options because if they're childbearing age and wanna have kids, um, we can utilize Clomid, um, which is a, a pill that you can take that would actually naturally boost your own testosterone levels. And we've seen some decent results with that. You can also optimize uh, an injectable form of uh, HCG, which also stimulates uh, the body to produce testosterone as well. It helps with muscle growth and uh, obtaining more of a lean uh, structure. But yet, you're not actually going on testosterone at that point. So those are some alternatives. But ultimately, if you qualify and you want to get the most significant results, it's going to be the testosterone therapy. Yeah. Well, you know, something, if, if anyone has ever listened to me talk, they've heard me beat the dead horse about nutrition. Yeah. Because honestly, like, testosterone, your hormones in general, I, I, I say testosterone just because it's, it's some of the m most common language you hear right now, TRT. You hear TRT everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about TRT. Um. But there's, there's impact 
that has from your food, from your lifestyle, your stress, your sleep, are you drinking alcohol, like, I beat this dead horse and I will continue to beat it until the day I die, in terms of helping people switch from thinking about food from a reward, comfort, uh, you know, pleasure standpoint, think about food in terms of something that you give to your body because your body needs it, Mm -hmm. not necessarily eating what you want to eat. This is where I'm like, all right, well, food isn't for you to enjoy. We're in this mindset right now of we want to enjoy food. When we're done with the day, we want to go home and plop on the couch and crack open a beer or or eat whatever bullshit you got out of a bag. Mm -hmm. And then you get that dopamine response and then you pass out and then you get up and you eat again. And it's like, we're creating the most toxic environment in our bodies that is affecting our hormones, our endocrine system in such a, a negative way. And this is what happens is one thing leads to another, leads to another, to the point where now you have a symptom that you think you need to go see a doctor for. And you mm-hmm. go to the doctor and he, he treats or he doesn't treat the, uh, the root cause of the problem. He treats the symptom mm-hmm. with a medication. And now you're on a medication that you really didn't need which is going to cause additional side effects, which is going to make you have to rely on another medication. And then here goes the downward spiral, the deterioration of your health. When in reality, if you would just think about food as something important for your body in terms of health, then it wouldn't have such a a negative impact on your internal health. So I think a lot of what we're seeing right now, there's so many different environmental factors and and whatnot, and, and people are just so lost in terms of where they're going with their health. Mm-hmm. So this is why like this is, this conversation with you guys is so important today. What is what would you say is the most common issue that you see with men and and also with women when it comes to all right they come to you and they're like I give up, I need help. Where do I start? Like what is what's the most common issue or the most common problem that you hear from uh, from a man and a woman both? I would say from the males um I think it's uh, some lack of uh, intimacy with mm-hmm. their spouse. Um, somewhat they're embarrassed to talk about it, but I think coming in and talking to people that are dealing with hormonal therapy, they kind of get that comfort level of, you know, this isn't the first time we've heard this. You know, it's not the first time we've treated this. Right. So I think that's part of it, and I think uh, there can be some issues going on with you know increased stress at work. You know, find me a job that doesn't have some stress at some point. It, it doesn't yeah, exist. It doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. So... You know, I, I think those are probably the two most common I see with uh, with guys. Now, for gals, sometimes it's the intimacy, but I think more of it's just more they just don't feel good. They feel overweight. They're, they don't have the body they used to have, and they, they want some help in transforming themselves back to that. So, you know, and as you spoke about the, the, the food, food is fuel. Okay? You're not going to put crappy gas in your premium, you know, car. You're yeah. not going to put crappy jet fuel in the jet you're flying. You, you, you have to load your body with the proper nutrients and fuel to make it run more efficiently. Yeah. And if you're, you're grabbing the bag of potato chips, you're grabbing the, 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 the Ben and Jerry's, you know, you know, as much as some people like that, and it tastes great, feels good, but yet, in the end, it's harmful for your body. So you're not helping yourself by, uh, by doing those instead of loading up on protein. You know, get your body on protein. That's why you see most elite athletes, they're loading on protein. Yeah. You know, they're doing multiple meals through the day. It's not three big meals a day. You know, they're, they're getting that constant uh, movement uh, through the body to, you know, maintain protein synthesis. Yeah, the food that you guys were talking about, too, out of the bag, that's not food. That's, oh, yeah. that's trash. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's whole foods and protein, primarily. You know, we're from competitive backgrounds, bodybuilding. Chris is a former athlete as well. We eat for function. And that's where we primarily need to. It's like, you know, it's like delayed gratification in anything. You don't just eat to make yourself feel better. Now, that's easier for some people than others, right? But I think that's critical. First and foremost, before you start supplementing, nutrition. Get that right, 100%. You hear that? Nutrition is everything. It dictates everything. It really is. I mean, what's the point of supplementing if you're just eating a junk, bunch of junk every day? Yeah. Like, you, you can't really pinpoint what's going on. So you get your nutrition right, try and get your sleep right. Try and get your daily habits in check so you kind of have a little bit of a balance. Easier said than done, you know, but then you can start supplementing. And like Chris was saying, they come, a lot of the guys are doing it for se- sexual function, you know, so they have an intimacy with their wife or significant other again. I hear a lot of other guys 
like, man, I just need to get some body fat off. I just feel like I store fat faster than I used to. And you totally do. When your testosterone is lower, you start storing fat in a way that you never have before. So if you're in your teens and 20s and you're shredded all the time and then you hit 35 and you're like, what the hell? My diet's not that much different. Why am I getting fat? Well, it's your testosterone dropping. So that, in addition to that, what I think a lot of guys that follow you, follow Andy, they're also looking for that edge. They want to work 18 hour days. You know what I mean? They want the energy. So it's fat loss, it's libido, but it's also giving you an edge in business so you can keep powering through and then recover. Recover after a hard day's work, but also going to the gym, breaking your body down. You recover twice as fast, if not faster. I know that I couldn't train like I do now without testosterone and some other peptides. I just, you just don't recover without it the way you need to if you're trying to train at that level. So Yeah, we just, <clears throat> everything about society today is, is toxic. I mean, from what we're watching on TV, what we're putting into our bodies, I mean, we're connected to a screen all day long. We wake up to it, we're on a screen all day long, whether it's our phone, our laptop, our computer, we're going to bed looking at a phone. I mean, the radiation, like, it, we're just primed to be toxic people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what, what's fascinating to me, um, you know, uh, since I've been with Andy and the Elliott Group, uh, the, the business world is a little bit more new to me, right? I was military to Hollywood. Now I'm steeped in the business world. And what I see so often really across the board is have these massively successful people and they spend money on everything except for their health. And, 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 you know, to the Lamborghinis, to going out to the fancy restaurants, to the fancy vacations, flying on jets, but yet they're treating their bodies like shit. And uh, there comes a point in time where it, it catches up to you. And, uh, you know, I, I talk about the blood work a lot, but there's also, you know, let's just say a, there, a, a level up. There's another uh, a guy who we're friends with. He runs a, a, a company called Blindspot, which is like, I say, taking your insides and throwing them on a, a, a 3D screen and looking at everything in a way that hmm. you can look at how the insides have been affected by the years of doing whatever you're doing. So um, there's a point in time where if you don't take care of your health right now, you might not be able to come back from it. And it's important that you start looking at things in such a different way so that you can understand your lifestyle habits will dictate your future. In ter specifically in terms of health because if you're reading any books, if you're reading any literature, if you're watching movies and TV shows, you can see where society is going. And I mean, they're trying to get us to eat fucking cricket powder and dust as protein and, and, and fake meat and all this bullshit. And it's like, it's, I don't even know how that's even logically, like how does it even make sense to create something in a, in, a, in a lab or a factory, put it in a bag where it can stay on a shelf for two years and, and think that that's gonna be good for us? It, like, I can't compute it in my mind, but because we don't know what we don't know and there's so much money behind brainwashing us to believe that everything they're saying is true, like we're, we're really in a bad spot. So, uh, you know, f for me, I got on testosterone replacement therapy back uh, back in 2018, and the, you know I graduated high school. I joined the Marine Corps right after. I've pretty much lived in a chronic state of stress nearly my entire life. I mean, I didn't have a, my, I didn't have my first vacation until this past summer with with the Elliott Group. It was crazy um, because all I know is work. And, and, I, and the reason I say that is because that ground and pound over all the years, even though I've been I've been in tune with my body and understood health and fitness. The chronic state of stress and the lack of sleep. When I got into Hollywood in New Orleans, I, I mean, I didn't sleep like a normal person. I might be working on two movies at one time, one filming days and one filming nights. Where do I sleep? I just got to get it in wherever I get it in. That's not healthy. And it, that, that, that compound effect finally caught up to me to the point where I remember when I was living in L.A., one morning I just... I could barely get out of bed. Like I was so lethargic. And prior to that, I had noticed like some of my, you know, some of my training was like, I, I wasn't feeling things the way I, I normally would feel them. And I would expect to feel them given that I, I dumped so much of myself into it. So 
I was overtrained, I was under eating, I was not sleeping enough, I was living in stress. And there's a there's a the, the therapeutic part of training for me, like we talk about the physical part of it, but there's such a huge mental aspect of, of fitness. And I got lost in I needed the therapy. I mean I was going like two times a day training like way more than I could have and I know that takes a hit on it too so it's like I was not in a good place so what was my my testosterone levels were like just shy of 200. How old were you this uh, time? 2018 that was I think I was like 38. Yeah that's about the time right yeah. that's when it starts to decline. I'm telling you it caught <laughs> up but but you want the edge I, I always want the edge we all we all want the edge um, but just by feeling like I had my health back where I could wake up to feel clear headed, I could think straight. I didn't have so much brain fog. Mm -hmm. Um, my recovery was well, I, my strength was going back up. My body fat started to go back down. I wasn't holding as much water. I mean, I don't think people understand the impact of your hormones. And when you mess with hormones, especially doing some shady shit, you know, maybe saying your buddy's telling you to get on all this, whatever, or, Hey, I got a, I got a contact for you. And then all oh, you get some dirty stuff and mm -hmm. you're not even getting what anyway, it's all that unknown black market stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the great thing about what we're doing here is we're trying to create, uh, men and women who are great leaders mm -hmm. and great husbands and wives and can, you know, can lead from the front and basically, just have the mental fortitude to stand up for what they believe in because you have to do that nowadays and if you don't you get ran over like a yeah. like a freight train so um, what advice do you have for anyone out there who is in this position right now and is thinking about it but thinks that maybe it's not for them or maybe thinks that there's another way around it or thinks that maybe they can just change a couple things and they'll be all right when you're if if they are bottomed out in a certain way and they don't know it, but they feel it. What, like, what would be your advice to someone? You know, I, I would like to, to quote my dad kind of in this situation. You know, if that person is just kind of the unknown, the answer is always no until you ask. Mm -hmm. So if, if they don't reach out to, you know, a group like us to find out more about it or, or even do their own research, what step are they going to then finally have to have to, to come forward and, and start, you know, looking at therapy? Um, I think that they have to take control of their lives because everything you just talked about, your body was dying, okay? Your, your brain was dying until you finally, you know, had that awakening and says, you know, I, I got to do something with this. And that's very typical of what we see with a lot of patients. So I, I think just realizing and being honest with yourself to say, I'm not where I want to be mentally and physically, okay? Fitness-wise either. And looking at your options to see, but it's all going to come down to just making that, you know, connection either by email, phone oh, call. Here, here, here's, here's another piece on that to, to, to add another question to that question. Yeah. Because I, because this is something that, that I've, I've dealt with actually quite a bit. So the, so the husband and wife, the husband wants to seek help so bad, mm -hmm. but the wife says, there's no way you're going to get on steroids. I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, 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 how do you how do you navigate around that one? Well, first we talk to the, the person's interested, and I say if, if your spouse has got concerns, bring her in too. Sure. Okay. Or if, even if it's flipped, because sometimes you'll have females that want to get on hormone therapy, and the guys don't understand. So, for me, we want to be very open with the, you know the patient and the couple. However, we need to deal with that. And the first thing is just flat out: this isn't steroids. I mean, this is a a testosterone you know hormone that everybody males and females has in their body mm -hmm. and all we're doing is we're bringing those levels up this is not something black market this is not something that is illegal you know this is probably something that's been around for longer than i've even existed i'm 54 years old but yet it really did not become in vogue for you know past 15 years mm -hmm. i think it's becoming more and more accepted though too and you see that because it's people are talking about it case yep. in point right um but I think there's some guys, especially athletes, bodybuilders, that they would just rather not know or they feel intimidated to go to the doctor. So if we're giving them a segue into this without having to go into the doctor's office necessarily, you can do this from your house. You know what I mean? It's super unintimidating. And you ask, how do you get started? Well, maybe you don't make the full commitment. Just get blood work. Mm -hmm. Just get your blood work yeah. and then decide if, what you want to do. Because 
I mean, you got to have the knowledge before you can make a decision. And if you get, you know, you go to the primary care docs, those guys do so much, but they don't specialize in hormone therapy. And what they consider normal isn't normal. Oh, yeah. And you're talking about just a, just a normal, your normal physician that someone yeah. would go to. Yeah. There, I, I, I literally cannot even go to a doctor because I trust nothing. I trust nothing. They Except say. for good orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I'm saying, like, norm, normally, normally what happens is, in, in my experience, which is why I just stopped, yeah. is I get such bad advice, and everyone tries to put me on medication. I'm like, I don't want to be on fucking medication. Yeah. Like, stop trying to poison me with your nonsense. Like, I know I can eat healthy. I just need to optimize what's already, you know, suboptimal in my body. You know, you, you, made, a, you made a point, um, or you said something a little while ago, about uh, stress being in the job. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I really think if you're, once you can optimize your health, once you can get yourself back to a place of, of uh, being optimal, I, I, I keep saying optimal, but I'm like, that's such a, it's, it's really just a good word to describe a lot of things because when you're optimal, you think better, you feel better, you talk better, you work better, your productivity is better, everything's better. Therefore, if you're in a stressful environment, maybe it's not so stressful because you're able to take on those day-to-day -day tasks and challenges and, and you know, process them sure. in a different way because when you're, it's like uh, the, 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 this bitterness, right? When people are not where they want to be in life, they're unhealthy, they feel like shit, they go home to maybe another toxic environment, so they're like toxic environment to toxic environment, and then they're eating crap on top of it. They, they just lose their identity. They don't know who they are. They don't feel good. And what happens, and this is just me working with people and kind of making observations and, and really thinking about this for a long time because I see it so much, there's this bitterness that, that comes out of these people, and it, it's, it's geared towards everyone else. And I say this because you can see a lot of the a lot of the hate on the uh, on the social media yeah. in the comments. You know, God forbid you're in shape and you have a, f a muscle. You can't have a muscle without being on steroids. Yeah. I mean, it's the craziest, like, the, 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 the logic that we have these days is so skewed because people are, are so lost in what health actually is and understanding that if you just exercise and eat right and take care of your body, you can actually be fit and, and in shape and actually mm -hmm. look like Maybe you might be on testosterone, but you're really not. You know what I mean? It's like, sure. it, it's it, it's a it's a really crazy way to to live, and and I, I want to help people get away from that because we need less of that and more of people supporting each other, and you know, bringing into the the, the community of strong minds, strong bodies. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the more the more we can do that, and the more we can educate people and bring them to you, and 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 just have these conversations that people wouldn't be able to have otherwise because, again, like at the end of the day, we live in a society that's geared around making as much money as they possibly can in terms of, like, what you eat, you know, how do you be healthy, should you be on medication, like, it's too confusing. So what, what, other, what, what other information would you like to, like, pop out here and share to someone that we haven't even touched on yet? Because I know you guys have your own toolbox of stuff that maybe I don't even know about. I would say uh, recently I, I did another interview where people ask me, you know, what is probably one of the highlights that I've had? And it, it, for me, it was kind of an inverse effect that because we do so much extensive blood testing just to make sure, you know, patients are a good candidate, we've had the unfortunate nature of catching some tumors, prostate tumors, thyroid tumors that went undiagnosed, primary care didn't catch. And that's not saying that the primary care docs you know, an idiot doesn't know what they're doing or they're, they're a poor doctor. It's just sometimes they're not looking at the right spot for certain things. And because we look at so many different things, we've caught some of these tumors. And I, I feel personally like, you know, between myself and some yeah. of the nurse practitioners that work with me, we've saved some lives yeah. because of this. And the, the patients that come back with just that gratification that we just helped them, you know, potentially from something very bad is, is huge to me. Yeah. That's awesome. Honestly, it's a great business to be in, and I enjoy it, but I honestly I feel like it's a duty. I really feel a duty to 
get the men and women kind of optimized, get them healthy. And, you know, you were refer referring to the people that are frustrated and bitter. And, you know, those folks, they don't haven't taken the time to do the research generally. And they're the ones that are going to tell you that you shouldn't take testosterone and then they're going to go kill a box of donuts. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So it's like everybody, I think, not everybody, a lot of people have vices, but I think if people are truly educated, they're going to understand, like, I don't have to live this way. You know, imagine if you, you're saying you're in the office setting and your your body's broke down, you haven't been taking care of your, your, your health and your fitness, you're only going to function so well, right? You're only going to be so much benefit to your employer or your business so well. So imagine if you haven't slept for two days, how good are you at your job? I mean, some people do better without sleep than others, but I am terrible. If I don't get my eight hours, at least oh, yeah. if I have a couple of days where I'm not sleeping, I'm not good at pretty much anything. So the same thing can go for having the correct hormone balances and health and nutrition. How can you be expected to perform on a high level if internally you're just garbage? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So again, I'm beating your nutrition down with that. I mean, it's, it's it. super important. Um, and like I said, I think we have a duty to get bring people the knowledge and give them the opportunity to know what's going on with them. Because I just don't think a lot of people know how to go about it. They have interest in it, but they're like, yeah, I do. that's only things that they do on the coast in California and Florida, right? That's not the case. We're going nationwide. So anybody that needs help, we can get them the information, help them make educated decisions so they can perform better. Yeah. Duty and responsibility. Hang on to that one second here so I don't forget that because I want to okay. touch on that. For me. But I want to I, I want to go back to something I just said a, a few minutes ago about, you know, going to like don't trust doctors and stuff. If, if I, I, there there is a there is a caveat to that when I if I do go to a doctor, physician, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And and that person actually asks me the questions about my lifestyle and then makes recommendations or asks questions about what I'm eating and then gives me uh, advice about, well, you shouldn't be eating that. You should try and focus on these things because it might actually clear this up. And, and, if, and then if it doesn't, then we can look at, you know, what the next step would be. If, some, if that's, that's the kind of doctor that I would, that I would listen to because, because that person has some familiarity with nutrition and the importance of it. But you don't see it too often because it's a money game. And half the time when you go to a doctor, are they in shape? No. Nope. When you go to a hospital, what kind of food are you eating in the chow hall? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all the worst stuff. Yep. It's, Fried. it's crazy. Carbs. Yeah. And that's supposed to be like the, the epitome of like when you're in a hospital, you'd think it would be all about health. But there's hot dogs and donuts and ice cream, and Coke and ice cream. Yeah, it's it's unreal. But uh, you know, duty and responsibility. What you just said. When I when I came back from Iraq, uh, I lost everything I had, and I was I was living in my car, and I it was like these uh, these crazy dark moments where I'm I'm trying to have these conversations to myself about why am I here, how did I get here. Like, how could I have done all the amazing things in my life, and now here I am with nothing and nobody? And this is when I kind of had my light bulb moment was, I'm here. I've got my mental health. My body's intact. I've got all my limbs. I've got a responsibility to do something with my life. And I think everyone has a responsibility to do something with their life because at the end of the day, Everyone's got a family, and if you don't have a family, there's someone out there who believes in you. There's someone who respects you. There's someone who's looking up to you. There's someone who you inspire, and even if it's just one person, that could be enough to realize that there's something impactful that you can have to your life to create change, mm -hmm. and that goes back to the point of everything that we're doing here is trying to get people to wake up to understand that because for your company, for your employees, for your family, for whoever, when when you become lazy or disrespectful to everyone who believes in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at this point in time right now, if we don't take control of our health and our lives, then we're we're going to continually be prey to society and we'll always be a victim of whatever agenda is being pushed on us. And I say we are a victim to food. 
all the time, all day long, every day. You see it. Um, the fact that we have more fitness facilities, the fact that medical technology has advanced so much, we've got this entire biohacking space right now, which, you know, focuses on health and longevity. Like, we're in a position right now where we could very easily be the healthiest country in the world, but yet we're the most obese. Mm -hmm. It's nonsensical. Like, what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Like, how, how, do, how do we get to this point where we're so disconnected from our health? Um, Two-thirds of the country is obese in yeah. the United States. I think uh, the invention of smartphones have done that. Okay, I think uh, the expansion of television and advertising, you know, social media um, has done that. And I think just in general, um, we don't have a great group in society that wants to work for certain goals. They become too accustomed to being complacent or what they think is the norm instead of seeking out more for themselves and their family. And I think, you know, that's where we like working with you guys is we want to set the new norm. We, we want everybody to get better. We want you healthier. So I think that there's some times you got to put down the phone, turn off the TV, get your ass outside, take a walk, go for a run, whatever. Just get out of the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take control of your lives. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, I said it's duty, but to be honest, it's a lot of fun, too. Like, some of the most rewarding experiences I have is having a guy come to us, and you can tell he's struggling. And it's either depression or, you know, his relationship with his wife or energy at work mm -hmm. or in the gym. And it's so cool to see him. 90 days later, they're just, like, they're a super fan. There's like, you changed my life. Because we literally, this is such a gift we can give these guys that they Brand don't know person. they have. It really is. I mean, it changes people's lives in a massive way. And for me, that's the best part. And it's, it's really rewarding to be able to do that for somebody. So that's one of my main reasons for wanting to be in the business. Um, so there is a duty, but I'm not going to lie. I get a lot out of it, too. So <clears throat> what other information would you want to share before we... Uh kind of segue out of this because I want to be able to let people know your information sure, where to find sure. you how to get a hold of you you know what the next steps would be I got one more thing for you so we've been talking a lot about blood work mm -hmm. but you can take it to another level not just blood work so now we're getting ready to offer DNA methylation tests so the blood work is going to show where you're deficient right and then the DNA methylation test is going to show you how you process things in your body because everybody's different you know, you never, anything you put in your body is going to change to a different form, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so this test will show you genetically how you process things, how it's going to affect you in your daily life. Um, you know, you got to consider epigenetics, which is basically your inherited genetics from your, your yeah. parents. So I brought a test mm -hmm. I got for you, okay. and I want you to do it. And then on the next one, I want to follow up. So I brought it. Um, oh, by, by the way, when, when he's talking about DNA methylation, think about this. When you eat food... It's got to be converted into the usable form. Think about, uh, I'll use Gary Brecka's uh, term right here, where if you, you can't put crude oil in your gas tank, it's got to be converted to gasoline. If you exactly. eat a steak, you know the steak is loaded with vitamins and, and, and all the right nutrients. But what, is the, where does, what happens to the steak? Well, your body converts everything into the usable form. You have the bioavailable nutrients that your body absorbs. So if you have methylation issues... You know, you might not know about them, but it, it comes down to nutrient absorption and a lot of other, other other things. So this is a really cool test right here. I'm all about it. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing what, what, the, what comes back on this. We're going to find out <laughs> a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's pretty exciting. And, like, I have uh, Alzheimer's in my family. And so this tells me if I, there's two genes that promote that, I have one. So, you, you know, having this knowledge, you can make adjustments in your life, supplement accordingly. So, you know, with, with the blood test, with this gene test, you supplement, but you, chew, you, you do it kind of like a sniper. You're not going to the supplement store yeah. and saying, give me one of everything. Supplement for the sake of supplementing it, which is what most people do. You need to supplement intentionally with what your body needs. Otherwise, you're just wasting money. Right, right. And, I mean, I love the, I have some friends that own supplement companies, and they definitely are important. This is just going to give us a little more insight on what you actually need, yeah. right? So you're going to take this, you swab it on the inside of each cheek 15 times, roll it around. Is that 15? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. <laughs> 
this is going to be a great follow-up. We'll see exactly what's going on. And we, this is, these panels can be uh, customized. This one that I got for you is pretty in-depth. So, and you know, the, the more you have tested, the more expensive, but we're going to make this as cost-effective as possible. Good. We're talking like three, 400 bucks, okay. you know what I mean? So you put it back in this tube, you break the top off, or the stem off, put it back in here, and then here's a, there's an instruction card on here with a QR code for Prime. You put that in um, on your smartphone, and it'll take you to the site, and you register the number, the number that is on that barcode, and the number that's on here. You put it in this pouch, put it up, put your return address on there, drop it in the mail, and that's it. And then Easy. within days, you're going to have a report uploaded to that uh, portal, okay. and you can go through it, and then it'll give you information on wh what the results are and what you should do. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to do one on Andy as well, so okay. we're going to have some pretty cool, we're going to, we're going to biohack you guys, we're going to get optimized to the max, yeah. so. We're, we're, we're trying to look like uh, <clears throat> people not from this earth, at cyborg, nah. cyborg style, you know. Hey, whatever uh, your prerogative is. Yeah. Well, so, so everyone who, uh, who's watching this, who's made it up to this point, thanks for, uh, thanks for staying here. If you've been on any of my my Wednesday Zoom calls, um, you've heard me talk about the relationship that we're creating right now, this partnership with, uh, with Matt and Chris. So here they are. This is going to be our, our, uh, our go-to guys. When you, when you have issues with hormones or you need blood work done or you need to talk to someone about getting your health back to where it needs to go, these are the guys. You're hearing it straight from their mouths. I'm going to let them say whatever they need to say, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give you guys all the info on where to go. I'm sure it'll be put down in the link below. Um, yeah. And then it's time to just level up. Like, we're, we're just barely into the new year. So if you've given up already, I'm telling you to ungive up, get off the fucking couch, and get to the gym, get out, start walking, eat something good, start to eliminate all the bad stuff. Like, believe in yourself. I believe in you. I want to go on this journey with you. We want to go on this journey with you. So remember that. There's people out there who want to help you, and there are resources. And here they are. Just don't forget. I don't care if it's December. It's never too late. So just remember that if you're in a, if you're in a spot right now where you feel like you've already given up and you're being too hard on yourself, every day is a new day. Just remember that. Yep. And, you know, if you feel like that, chances are internally something's off. So we get you optimized. You're going to feel more motivated to go to the gym, and you're going to recover quicker after the gym. A lot of people get so sore, they're like, oh, I'm sore, I'm not going anymore. Mm -hmm. This is going to help, right? Yeah. So we can help you get in that right mindset. We can help you get the energy up for work. Um, it's Prime Recovery and Wellness. Our website is prime.recovery.online. Prime.recovery.online. I just want to say that, you know, for all you guys that are out there, um, who are struggling with something, just call us, get checked out, okay? We're here to help you. Um, I think you'll be uh, very surprised to find that, you know, uh, we've got some great options for you. Um, I think you can take control of your life, and in the end of all this, I want your spouse, your girlfriend, to look at you the same way as the first day they met you. Mm -hmm. Make your life better. Right on. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Simplicity is key. Thanks, Aaron. Just remember that nothing has to be overcomplicated. If you if you're working with someone who is overcomplicating things, think about who you're working with because it might not be the right fit. So we're always here as a resource. Everything we do is about helping you become the best version of yourself and to create something you never even knew existed. Peace. Right, right on. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.